Um, wow, I had a three-day weekend. Uh, so happy me. <laughs> Hopefully a lot of you did too, uh, and, and you had Monday off. Uh, I... I I did a, I did so much this weekend. I obviously happy Father's Day, belated Father's Day to to those uh, those fathers out there. I uh, I spent wow like th- this amazing weekend. First of all, I saw Kid Rock on Friday night, which is mind blow was mind blowing, uh, and uh, I've been a Kid Rock fan for a long time and enjoyed his music uh, and and got a chance to listen to him for the first time. And he still puts on a, on a really good show. Saturday, we had a, a, a pool party here at the house with a bunch of friends. Sunday, obviously, was Father's Day, and we kind of just hung out and went to dinner. And then Monday, I went to uh, a National Forest, and, and we did some 4x4 and off-road, which was a lot of fun. My Jeep is really dirty now. <laughs> um, but man, what a jam-packed weekend. And uh, I know that's not why you tuned in to find out what I did this weekend, but you you'd be jealous if you're uh, if you if you knew that so maybe that's why I didn't tell you or you'd have had a lot of fun with me if you had been but um i i just i can't get over how great of a weekend it is and and just something else i can't get over is is something that zoom announced last week uh was mio mio integration and wow full disclosure i i do work for zoom i am a full-time employee of zoom and i um I am not a spokesman for Zoom by any means. I, I'm certainly not a a figurehead of any kind. I just, I'm just kind of a nerd, and I just kind of like to play with cool stuff. And a lot of times that involves Zoom, much like it does today. Uh, and and what Mio, uh, the announcement between Mio and Zoom, and honestly, uh, Slack and WebEx and uh, and Teams as well. What do, what is what is Mio, Patrick? I'm gonna give you a little background. Remember, you probably don't, but because I'm gray hair, I do. Remember back in the day when when texting first came out on phones? Our SMS first came out on phones. Do you remember that? And it wasn't re- universally adopted, uh, at least not in the U.S., because a lot of times texting was very siloed, meaning like if you were on Sprint, you could, you could text a Sprint user, but you couldn't text a Verizon user. And if you were on Verizon, you couldn't text an AT&T user. So it wasn't really adopted because it's, it was kind of very limited in, in scope, not until everyone basically said, texting super cool, we should be able to do this with any carrier over any network anywhere in the world, did the, did the exponential growth of texting take off. Same with faxing, same with email, same went out with chat, actually. Chat's the new, chat's the new communication standard for enterprises and consumer. Whether it's texting on the phone or chatting from uh, an application on your desktop or laptop or mobile, chatting, texting is the way we communicate now. More so than email. More so than phone calls. More so than faxes, obviously. More so than in person. More so than, obviously, physical mail. Chat's the way we do it. It's very informal. There's a standardized giffies and and, uh, and an informal nature to overall chat. It, it can be across boundaries, can cross consumer, cross enterprise. It's really the way we communicate as a society today is chat and texting first. We still obviously call. We still obviously see people in person. We still have obviously virtual meetings. But informally to get things done, we chat first in the enterprise space. Well, at Zoom we do. And full disclosure, I used to work at Microsoft for 14 years. And as soon as Teams really took off and chatting took off within the Teams function, email also so also declined, right? So chatting up, email down. That's the behavior we typically see in the UCAS space. Do people still email? Yes. Obviously, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying they email less and chat more. When everything used to be email, it is now chat. Right. And so a lot of times I, these are not Gartner level, Forrester level, Wayne House level numbers. This is Patrick Kelly's uh, life <laughs> numbers. And I'm just making these up. It feels like to me, I've personally probably dropped my email percentage to by 80 percent since chatting came out. There's some days I don't even send an email. I've so, I of course, still read them most of the time. <laughs> There's some days I don't even send an email. That's powerful. 
That's powerful because I chat all day long, both internally and externally. So what I'm saying is once chat was, once texting and SMS was adopted worldwide by every single carrier and every single vendor, it became exponentially useful to everyone in the world, enterprise consumer. Yesterday, and I put that in quotes, yesterday, if I was on a chat client, I could only chat with that client. What I mean is, if I was on WebEx, I could only chat with other WebEx users. If I was on Slack, I could only chat with Slack users, Teams and Zoom, you get the point. You were very siloed and constrained to the platform that you were on. If you haven't seen me talk, you know that one of my biggest things that I push in the world today in IT is choice. No longer are we in the 80s and 90s anymore where we had this draconian IT methodology where we pushed out one thing and you got it for the next three to five years whether you liked it or not, you used it. Don't care what you think or thought or like, just use it. We don't live in that world anymore. Today we live in choice. Today, a lot of CIOs I talk to, a lot of CTOs I talk to, again, not a universal uh, standard, but a lot of CTOs and CIOs that I talk to, he or she are providing choice to their end users because their customers, if you're a CIO, CTO, your customer is your end user and you got to make them happy. <laughs> and by you make them happy, by giving choice. Let them choose what tool to use, whether it's Teams and or Zoom. Let them choose. It's not an either or, it's an and. Use them together. So what I'm trying to say is Mio has came out with this an amazing tool. And this tool is allowing you to have choice in whatever chat platform you choose. And you'll be able to not be constrained any longer. You're not going to be able to be siloed any longer. I'll pick the two probably biggest ones in the industry today, biggest UCAS providers. I'm not taking anything from WebEx or Slack. But Teams and Zoom, probably the biggest providers of this UCAS choice today. And I've worked for both companies. <laughs> and I have the ability to show you what it looks like. Mio is connecting with the people you work with on any platform you choose. When I say any, I mean four. Right, these four right here. These four right here, WebEx, Slack, Teams, and Zoom. The four probably most powerful UCAS solutions out there today. Now, you are no longer being siloed into Slack, Teams, WebEx, or Zoom when you're chatting with somebody. Today, with Mio and the integration that Zoom and Mio launched, you are no longer restricted into being in teams and texting and chatting with other people in teams. You can now chat, hold your horses here, chat with other users inside your organization that might have WebEx or Slack or Zoom. You now have choice as a user what chat platform you want to use. Mind blown. It doesn't matter. Mio allows this integration to take place between the four biggest providers of chat. So you as an enterprise, you as a consumer can now have choice of what platform works best for you. Because let's be 100% transparent here. Every single platform doesn't work 100% for 100% of the people. If you're a developer, you actually might like Slack better, right? Than Teams. That's okay. If you're just a regular consumer or, or an enterprise level user, that uh, already has WebEx, you might feel more comfortable in WebEx than Teams and or Slack. If you are already a Zoom user in the consumer world and you're now using it in an enterprise world, you might like chat better in Zoom. The point is, it doesn't matter. You can choose anyone you want because now they're allowed to talk to each other. I know, I know, I'm still blown away of what Tom and team have been doing over there. Well. Thankfully, Jake over at Mio has set up a couple of um, test accounts for me. And I wanted to show you, this is a longer video and I apologize. You don't have to watch it. <laughs> so maybe I don't apologize. You can hit fast forward. It's okay. What I'm saying is, if you want to see the demo, I actually have now a demo account that Jake and Tom have set up with me. Tom, by the way, CEO, 
CEO of, of Mio, a wonderful, wonderful uh, partner and, and customer of, of Zoom. Uh, and really, his team has pushed out this amazing product, and I just I can't say enough about it. I've known about it for uh, uh, probably years, if not uh, the last uh, six months, I've been using it uh, with, with their team. And I've, I've been itching to say this and showcase it and talk about it. And, and now I have the opportunity because Zoom announced that the, the, the partnership uh, last week. Um, and David and Teresa let me talk about it today. <laughs> well, maybe they didn't. I, I just, I didn't really ask, but I figured if we announced it on a blog, we could probably just talk about it, right? Uh, they didn't tell me no, but I didn't really ask. <laughs> So I hope it's okay. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Mio. So now I'm in Teams. I could chat with Zoom users. I'm in Zoom. I could chat with team users. And guess what? From an end user perspective, I don't even know. I'm going to give you a demo. Watch this. This is so cool. God, I can't even believe how cool this is. Uh oh, uh, let's do this. Let's get this Mio out of here. Let's get that out of here. And let's go to Boom. And boom, whoo, Teams on the left, Zoom on the right. I am Patrick Kelly in this example. I'm also Peter K on the other demo, All right? Peter K um, has Zoom on the left, Teams on the right. Did I say that wrong the first time? And I apologize if I did. Zoom on the left, Teams on the right. I now have the ability to use Mio to integrate the two platforms. Now, Peter, hey, Patrick, I'm in Teams. That's, mm hmm did you see that? Hey, Patrick, I'm in Teams, but that's not right, is it? Because actually, Patrick is in Zoom. So I just sent a text message from Zoom to Teams, look at that. Hey, Patrick, I'm in Teams. Hey, Patrick, I'm in Teams. Look at that. It looks the exact same. Watch this. Watch this. Patrick, I, I'm in Zoom, actually. I'm editing it now. Now, watch. I'm actually going to, boom, did you see that? Real time? I'm in Zoom, actually. Did you see how fast that went? I can actually send messages back and forth between Zoom and Teams. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Patrick says thanks to Peter. Boom. Peter has it already. This is going to change the way we chat as a consumer, as an enterprise, as SMB, as a society. Now, we no longer are constrained with the use case of one application chatting with another. We have opened it up to all the other major four applications that actually provide chat platforms. I know this is a rather long demo and I'll, I'm gonna shut it down now. I just wanted to announce that Mio and, and Zoom uh, have, have launched their partnership uh, as well as Teams, Slack, and WebEx. I really only care about the one, <laughs> right? You know that. And have announced this integration between Teams and Zoom that allows this Microsoft and Zoom story to expand even further. I did a whole demo series on SharePoint chat integration. Now I'm gonna do a whole demo series on the Mio and Zoom and Microsoft chat integration. This, I said the SharePoint integration was probably the most powerful chat thing, chat function to happen in the last two years in the Zoom world. I'm now gonna trump this one. Mio probably trumps the SharePoint integration. This is a real use case scenario that allows every user, no matter regardless of what platform you're in, to chat agnostically with other providers and enterprise applications. This is super powerful. Mio, oh, have I told you how cool this is? <laughs> I can't get over it. I'm gonna continue to talk about it. Part one of the series, done.